My name is Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. So good to see you. What kind of day did you have, huh? I had a good one. And it's gonna get even better right now because of Abercrombie hot peppers. That's right. Uh, I'm super stoked about this. Jason and Laura and my friends at Abercrombie, Aber you know where they're from. Man, they grow some peppers, people. Why don't you check this one out? Will you look at that? What a monster. This, people, is a skunk red. Let me give it away, give it away, give it away now, huh? All right, so uh, the weight is a 13 gram bohemoth. What a pretty pepper. Before I cut this open and look at the inside and show you and eat this thing, let me tell you a little bit about the Skunk Red. Uh, where are we here? Hang on a minute, people. That's not what I'm looking for. All right. Uh, the Skunk Red Pepper is a cross between the M.A. Wartrix that was created by Matthew Arthur, a great dude, a creator, a great pepper grower. Uh, it's a, a cross between the M.A. Wartrix and the Seven Pot Cardi. Uh, it was developed by master Italian grower Rocco Maltesi. As, and he's, a, he's got his act together too. Um, and it's one hot pepper. You get the heat right up front, but also has a nice fruity flavor to it. Uh, extremely hot pepper has a rough bumpy texture that sometimes grows with a scorpion tail kind of like that little guy right there okay uh, skunk red chili plant grows up to five feet tall it's very productive um, it's gonna be a warm one people super excited about trying this I can't wait to see the inside of it one more time that's the tail they're talking about the little scorpion stinger right there right there but look at how bumpy and just gnarly that thing is, huh? What a cool looking pepper. Jason and Laura Abercrombie Hot Peppers, I said it well that time. They're great, they're really easy to work with, good people. I can't wait to see what the inside of this looks like. Okay, let's see. Okay, as always, I need to take a nice picture for Instagram. If you're new to the channel, you haven't gone over to my Instagram, you need to. Uh, there's, wow, it smells so strong. Uh, there's a lot of really great pictures on my Instagram that you aren't ever going to see here. What an oily pepper. Wow. Okay, it's a very thin-walled pepper. As I said when I read it to you, it's very bumpy. Um, exterior, let me show you, this is one half. Thin-walled, kind of a relatively medium-sized placenta. Very oily wall lining. Look at that. Now the other half I'm going to show you right here on the lower half. It's going to be hard to see on this camera, although this camera is amazing, thanks to Robbie Robertson. Robbie Vision, man, my dude. Uh, I guess he can pick it up. Look at right here. That darker spot right there, that's capsaicin oils. Just a really neat uh, vein, do tool veins running all the way to the tip of the pepper. <whistles> Smells like a scorcher. All right, you guys, thank you so much, Jason and Laura Abercrombie. You guys are awesome. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's Friday. You know what that means. Man, I know what it means. Okay, so here we go, you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the
It's fruity, a bit on the bitter side. A little teeny bit of floral. Very hot right up front. And it's important to know because some peppers, it takes a while for that heat to really build. And it can trick you. Sometimes you're like, ah, it's not so bad. Then it creeps in. This is right out of the gate. This is a hot one. Um, slightly floral. Floral notes, if you're new and you haven't seen this channel before and you aren't familiar with some of the terms, floral is kind of flowery and really aromatic. I, when I first started the channel, you might go back and see an old video and say it's soapy or perfumey. It isn't really soapy, it isn't really perfumey, but that's kind of where my head was then. Um, the, the burn is on the sides of my tongue, the tip of my tongue, basically my tongue, but focus on the sides and the tip of my tongue. My lips are burning a little bit too, which is neat. It's funny, some, sometimes peppers burn you in one spot, not the other. Some peppers burn you in the throat. Some, some have migratory uh, or nomadic burns where they kind of move around on you. Um, this one is not, it's, it's fairly stationary. I'm just focusing on my tongue. If you're not a chili head, this is definitely not the one you want to warm up to. This is a hot, hot pepper. We'll talk a little bit and a little bit and let to give it a chance to peak. A new chili head would just, I mean, even if you had just a small sliver of it, this would have your undivided attention. If you're a chili head, and this is your gig, this is what you do, this is an eight all day. I can see how somebody might say it's a nine. It's a hot pepper. Uh, no question about it, but it's beautiful as far as the just the, how bumpy it was and how the deep red. It's just a very, very pretty pepper. The heat has peaked. Now, it's an interesting thing. I don't know how far into the video we are, but it's peaked for me, and it's already on the way down. Some people say, how can you tell it's peaked? I've eaten a million peppers, and you can sort of tell. Some peppers will have a false peak where it peaks out and it starts to drop. You're like, whew, that was a hot one. And it climbs back up and can even go higher. I've had that. I've experienced that with a few different peppers, but it's uncommon. Um, so it's already on its way down. If you're a new pepperhead, you're kind of new at this, and you ate this, it's not even close to peaking. It's going to keep climbing. When you're new, it takes a lot longer for it to peak, and it, it just affects you longer. It takes longer to peak, and it's going to um, longer before the effects are gone. When you're seasoned, I've done this for a really long time. The, the you know, I'm already down to, you know, it's, it's, it's dropping. Um, I'll be completely, before this video is done uploading, I'll be back to zero with no, you know, that's it. In fact, I'm getting really, it's lowering fast now. Somebody who's not accustomed to this, this is, this is the rest of your, your day, you know? It really is. It would, you know, the your rest of your day would be, you know, dealing with this. And maybe some of tomorrow, if you know what I mean. Even in the middle of the night, it happens. Um, so, and the flavors I got. I talked earlier in the video uh, about increasing your tolerance. If you want to taste really incredible flavors, I don't make any of this stuff up. And other chili heads will tell you they taste similar things. When your tolerance is low, you aren't going to taste those things because you're just kind of, you know, pain has got you and there's nothing you can do about it. But once you get more accustomed to it, the pain goes and, and your tolerance is higher, your window of opportunity to taste peppers is wide open. Um, and that's important because there are so many really cool flavors and subtle nuances that peppers have that you miss out on. You know what I mean? And that's a good one. That was a good pepper. It would be a great pepper, uh, like on a sliced up on a sandwich. It would be a great pepper to make sauce out of. Um, I reckon it would be a great powder as well. Okay, it's pretty much, uh, you know, the heat's going away. That was a great pepper. You guys, if you want to, you know, for, for, since the beginning of pot season, uh, I, for the most part, I've been uh, reviewing great pods, but from seed sellers. So you'll see the video like, ah, I want to eat that pepper. Mm, you got to grow it. 
Uh, the nice thing about this, Abercrombie Hot Peppers, they're selling peppers. So if you, if you want to eat these peppers, you can. Be careful. Always make sure you prep and have something in your stomach before you, uh, you do that. Or again, it's a, you know, almost every pepperhead has a story uh, where they say, oh, I did it on an empty stomach. But that's one of those things that you don't, it's, you know, psychologists call it one trial learning. You do that once. I mean, and you just, you won't do it again because it's, you know, the, the cramps will be severe if you don't have anything in your stomach. Also, you want to chew the pepper up really, really well. Um, the, the more, if you don't chew it up, you're leaving your stomach with a much harder task of digesting chunks of pepper and capsaicin, which is really, you know, it's a tall order. So to minimize the effects and makes it a little bit easier on your stomach, make sure you chew it very, very well. And that'll about do it. That was a great pepper, people. Pepper people. In the description box, you're going to see a link for Abercrombie Hot Peppers. Please check them out. Jason uh, and Laura are very, very cool. Check their um, the, the list. The list of the peppers they grow. They grow some peppers. So if you want to try some very interesting peppers out, click the link for uh, Abercrombie and tell them I sent you. Right there, that's our pepper, okay? Um, if you don't want to miss any video because spicy content is your buffet, then click the bell for notification. You'll see a drop box, okay? Select all. But to make sure you don't miss anything, visit us a lot because what happens is, even though you've hit that bell for notification, YouTube doesn't send out notifications all the time. They just don't. It is what it is. Uh, so visit us daily so you don't miss anything. Right here is League of Fire. More video. Oh, I gotta tell you something. You know, I tell you guys all the time that we're on the bus all together. I only know uh, where we're going, like one turn ahead of you. I know where we're going. It's several turns ahead, but there's some very, very cool stuff coming our way. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Epic, for real. More videos there. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.